eating glass. Okay, I was just eating like sour candy that's rat. Hey guys, so I tried to ignore the lines on my face. Like, really? Hey guys, so I wanted to apologize for this right here. It looks like I have like a, you know when girls do like feathers in their hair? That was like the thing in sixth grade, yeah. Anyway, the sun's going down. It's like, it's literally almost 7 o'clock right now, so, you know, it's like not really the peachiest time to film, but I really wanted to film this video. It's my eyeshadow palette collection because, um... I've just been meaning to do this for like a week and I just like every single day I'm like alright I'm going to film this video tomorrow and then I just literally never do so I was like girl I don't even care we're doing it so we're doing it so paint palettes not like quads you know not like little things like that like big eyeshadow palettes so we are going to get started um this is I guess kind of like my mini makeup collection thing with my eyeshadow palettes so we're going to get started also by the way if you don't follow me on Poshmark hashtag totally not sponsored I wish but I have been selling like some of my makeup on there that I have used like twice or I bought and it just collected dust and I never used it. Or you know what I mean. Like I say in the description box if I've used it. Some people literally don't care. Some people are really weird about it. So some of the products I've never used. Some of them I've used and I'm just done with them. I don't like them anymore. Blah, 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 whatever. But anyway. It's linked in every single video. Like it's in the description of all my videos. But I've been selling a lot of stuff on there. It's mostly like clothes and bathing suits and stuff, but I have thrown some makeup on there recently, and it's sold pretty well. So I feel like makeup is something that people really like to buy on there because it's all cheaper and it's literally the same exact thing. So anyway, let's get started. Get rid of this because this is like a thing I just wanted to show because it's a big palette I own. It's from ACV and it has, I think, 28 eyeshadows in here. I got this a really, really long time ago. And it's good if you're a beginner, like, you could create a lot of different eyeshadow looks with it. But it's nothing like if you own naked palettes, like, don't buy this because, like, you're going to be disappointed, basically. But their brushes, there is not, besides my Beauty Blender, there is not one brush in my entire makeup routine that I use that isn't from the brand Ace of Evie. I use all their brushes in my makeup. They're so soft and they're really nice. It's just their eyeshadow, like, eh. Me. But literally, my whole makeup routine, I don't use one brush that isn't from this brand. So, their brushes, yes. So, eyeshadow palette, if you're a beginner, it's good because it's cheap and there's like 30 eyeshadows in here, you know what I mean? But like, me. Okay, anyway. Let's go through the naked palettes. So, the naked one, I'm sure no one knows what this looks like, right? Okay, so anyway, this is it. If you want to see like what colors I've used most of, it's Virgin, Sin, and Buck. I used to always switch between Virgin and Sin on my lid, and then I always did Naked in my crease and Buck in my outer corner. That was like my freaking go-to for the longest time. My Virgin eyeshadow is literally all gone, and I was so obsessed with it. I bought like an individual Virgin eyeshadow, but I just never opened it. Like, it's still in the box. I never opened it. So I just sold it on Poshmark for like literally $8, so. And that's like 20 bucks. you know what I mean? So like, girl, hit me up on Poshmark. But anyway, Naked Palette, OG... This is like one of the best, okay? Then we have the Naked 2, which for some reason, I feel like the Naked palettes, it is really a personal preference thing because some people like say this one is the worst one, they like this one the least. This is my favorite one. I like the Naked 2 hands down more than any of the other ones. This is my favorite. I freaking love the color Beauty Call and I'm really sad because they don't make it in an individual eyeshadow. So like, let's say I used all of this up, I couldn't just go buy like an individual eyeshadow, I would have to literally go buy this Naked 2 palette again, like, what the fuck, anyway, okay, so, Beauty Call, Verve, YDK, and Busted are like my favorites in this palette, if you are wondering, those are just my favorites, oh, and this color Tease, this is like the best transition color ever, it's just kind of like a preference thing, if you like warm shadows, you'll like this better, if you like cool tones, you'll like this better. Total personal preference thing. Then we have the Naked 3. I feel like I'm talking really fast, but I have a lot to go through. Anyway, this is the more, like, rose gold, mauve pinky tones, I guess you could say. I haven't hit pan on any of these, which is surprising, because this color... Okay, let's see. Okay, um, what is this called? Buzz. I use a lot on my lid, which is this purple shadow right here, Buzz. And then I like the color Limit. And Nooner for like the crease, outer corner, and then the color Blackheart is the most unique color ever. Like no eyeshadow looks anything like this. It's awesome. So really like this one as well. They just all have like different things that I love about all of them. Like yeah, the Naked 2 is my favorite, but it's like I wouldn't 
want to have one and not the others. Like, I love all of them for different reasons. This is the Herb Decay and Naked Smoky, which I actually have this on my Poshmark because I genuinely don't use it. I wear really light eyeshadows. Like, I don't use these dark, smoky shades. Like, this is the only color that I really love in this palette. It's the color high. It's the first color. And it's like, that is so ridiculous to keep this entire palette because I like one shade and I don't even use the shade. It's not like, oh, well, I opened up this palette just for this shade. It's like, no, I like this shade. But it doesn't matter because I still don't even open up this palette to use that one shade. Like, it's just completely wasted. So, these are what the eyeshadows look like. I'm sure that you guys have all seen this a million and five times. But anyway, this color I really like. These few colors are nice. But then, these are all just too dark. It's like the first two or three colors on the outer things I like. But then, it's just... Like, it's pretty. That's the high color. The um, first one. Like, it's pretty, it's just that there's no point in keeping a whole eyeshadow palette for one color, and it's not even like I do use this palette for that one color. I still don't even use it, you know what I mean? Anyway, that is all of the naked palettes, and then we have the little um, baby ones. There's two. Well, I literally lose everything. I just had it, like, right here, like, five minutes ago. Found it, huh? Okay. Anyway. So they came out with the Naked Basics, and then they came out with the second one. They're just like, I think, $27, and it comes with six shades. They're all matte except for the very first shade, so this is the original Naked Basics palette. It looks like this. These are just really nice um, neutral shades. These are great. I really like these because they're only $27, and you get six Urban Decay eyeshadows for $27 is a good deal. In my opinion, this is the second one. Really nice. Just good neutral colors. I don't know. I like them. I recommend. Okay. Then we have... Eh. I'm selling this on Poshmark for sure. I forgot to list this. I didn't put it up there yet, but I took pictures for it. But anyway, it's a Smashbox Full Exposure. This was one of the first eyeshadow palettes I ever bought, like, a long-ass time ago, girl. But, like, the thing is, I really like the idea of it. It's kind of like the Lorac Pro. Like, the whole top is shimmer, the bottom is matte. But the thing is... The shimmer colors aren't shimmer, they're glitter. And if you know me, love shimmer. I don't even love matte eyeshadows. I love shimmery eyeshadows, but I hate glitter. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, we don't even like shimmer. Like, no, I love shimmer. I like shimmer more than matte eyeshadows. But I literally hate glitter. Like, there's a difference, girl. Okay, like, look at this. This color right here, that's shimmery. That's glitter. Like, do you see what I mean? That's shimmery. That's glitter. And they're just all, like, so glittery and chunky. And it's just, like, I don't like glitter, girl. I don't do it. So, anyway, this is the brush. The thing I really like about this brush, this is so stupid, but, like, this side's white. And then it's black. Yeah, but anyway. Nice brush. I like the brush. But it's just, like, the matte eyeshadows are really nice. I just do not like any of these except for this very middle one. And it's just, like, I don't know. I don't need to keep it for that. Anyway. Oh, I forgot about this. Girl, the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. The packaging is like freaking gorgeous. Like, just look at the packaging. It just makes you want to own it. Then it has this cute little itty bitty baby brush. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 eyeshadows. Oh, it's just like the Naked Pots. I didn't think it had as many shades. Okay, well, I guess it does. Huge, nice mirror. Love it. Okay, let's just get the brush out of here. Okay, these are what the shades look like, just to give you a closer look. Very pretty. They are literally all matte. There is... Actually, wait. Below might be shimmery. Not sure. I think below, this shade has like a light sheen to it, but the rest of them are matte. And it's really nice. There's just so many neutral colors you can create. Like, so many looks. You know, there's like the nice, just cool earth tones, and there's browns, and there's some bluish grays, some orange brick colors, purples. Like, there's just a lot of different shades. You can create a lot of different looks with this. And they're all matte, so if you're into that, there you go. Okay, then we have, this is my favorite. This is, like, my favorite. This is just such an eyeshadow palette that I recommend. Like, if you need an eyeshadow palette, girl, get the Lorac Pro. This thing is so good. It's amazing if you're literally a makeup artist or an 8th grader. Like, if you're beginning or you're a pro, this eyeshadow palette is amazing. So, basically, the whole bottom row shimmer, the whole top row is matte. If you can't tell, mauve is my favorite color. 
This reminds me of Tease in the Naked 2. It's like the best transition color in your crease ever. Anyway, I'll give you a look at these shades. And this color right here is my favorite, Nude. That's the prettiest color ever. But anyway, this is a great palette if you're a beginner or you're really good at makeup. If you just have never tried this eyeshadow palette, 12 out of 10 recommend. I love this thing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Then we have... Let's go through these, like, Too Faced things. So, I have two of, like, these. So, this is the original chocolate bar. I know they have, like, the Sun My Sweet, the Bomb Bomb. This is just, like, the OG chocolate bar palette. And I love this. Obviously, it smells like chocolate. We all know this. But, <sighs> it's so nice. I love this. There's just so many, so many looks you can create with this. Because, obviously, the majority is neutral. But, there's, like, a few just little, like, pops a color in here that make it more exciting you know like green blues some burgundy-ish tones they're just really nice this is just a really good palette love it great eyeshadows and then we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach which I love I actually repurchased this I mean one of my friends stole it I mean I lost it and then I bought it again because it smells so good and the eyeshadow palettes I mean guys I can't think the eyeshadows are actually really good I didn't just buy it because it smells good but the eyeshadows are so good I really like this one because all the colors they're so different like I don't know how I can't explain it but they're just so different I feel like I don't have an eyeshadow palette that looks like this I mean yeah it's like set up the same way as the chocolate bar but just like the colors in it I do not have a palette with colors like this I don't know why I just feel like it is so unique I don't know if it's just me, but I really like it. Anyway, this is what it looks like if you're interested. I do really recommend this one. And this one, I haven't tried the bonbons or like semi-sweet or all those ones. But I do really like these two personally. And then we have the Too Faced Natural Eyes, which I freaking love. These little 9-pan eyeshadows palettes. These are so good. This is the only one I have. But like, every time I go to Ulta or Sephora, I always look at these and like want to get a new one. Because the little 9-pan palettes are seriously so good. So they have one color that's bigger and then like, you know, it's supposed to kind of go like, it says day, classic, and fashion. Like, it's supposed to go these together, these together, and these together. But obviously, I mix and match all of these. I don't know if I ever have even gone like across the rows how yeah, you're supposed to, but love this. These are amazing. It's like $36, and I've had this forever. I've used it so many times, and I haven't even hit pan on any of them yet. So, 10 out of 10 recommend. This is my favorite. I really want the Bod Bedwar eyes or something like that, but I've not gotten there yet. But this one I really, really like. And then we have, okay, itch. Okay, anyway, I'm going to say really quick. The Too Faced 9 Pans and the Chocolate Bar-esque palettes. The Too Faced Holiday Palettes. Girl, don't do it. Like the chocolate bars and the 9 pan palettes, buy them. You'll, you'll, they'll be good. The promise the extras will be amazing. If it's a holiday palette, it is a complete, like, risk. Like, don't know. If you buy one of the chocolate bars or a 9 pan palette, they're gonna, the eyeshadows are going to be good. But these, I know I'm not the only one. Every girl on YouTube has, like, noticed. Like, these freaking holiday palettes, girl, are just, like, not the same quality. So this is the Too Faced Stardust by Vegas Nay. No shade, I'm just like being honest. These eyeshadows like aren't as good quality. So sorry, I actually just sold this on Poshmark. That's why I wanted to do this video today because I need to ship this out to this poor girl. But anyway, I do really like this. I'm not gonna swatch any of these because like I'm literally about to ship this out to this girl. But anyway, these are the colors. I do really like it. And obviously, I told her that I've used it before. It's like no shade, but it's just. I don't know. I like it. It's just that I don't use it enough to hold on to it, basically, is what I would say. I don't know. The eyeshadow, like, the quality is just, like, not there. It's not the same. Okay. And then we have this, baby, the Too Faced and Natural Love. This one is awesome, okay? This is awesome. I'm so happy because I was really nervous. I was hoping that it was going to be, like, one of these. It wasn't going to be, like, a holiday little thing, you know? And this is... This is awesome, okay? This eyeshadow palette is just, oh my god. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, anyway. These are what the eyeshadows look like if you have not stared at this online for some reason. It's so pretty. 
I love all these colors. There's just a nice mix of matte and shimmer. The majority of them are shimmery, but there is like a good mix of matte colors in there as well. This is great. I have not played with this a lot. I've only used it like a handful of times. But from the handful of times, I do like love it. Okay, we have two palettes to go and then we're done. This is the Tarlette in Bloom. <sighs> love this. Love this. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. They came out with the Tartlet and everyone died. And I was just like, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't think I'm going to get it because I'm not a matte eyeshadow girl. Like, okay, the thing is, I do a shimmery color on my lid and then the rest I do matte. Like, my crease outer corner, I do all that matte. But I'm just like, I love shimmery colors. I love that shimmery lid color. That's my favorite part of my eyeshadow. So I was like, I'm not going to buy the Tartlet palette because they're all mattes. And like, I use matte shadows for the majority of my eyeshadow. But it's like, the shimmer part is my favorite part of my eyeshadow. So then they came up with the Tartlet in Bloom. And I was like, this is what I've been waiting for. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I'm sure you guys have seen it like a million and five times. But I just love the colors. This one is my favorite funny girl, I think. Yeah, my life is sad. I memorize the names of eyeshadows. Anyway, so pretty. Love this to death. I don't even know what else to say. Okay, anyway. Then we have this last one. I'm so excited. I finally got my hands on this. Like, I don't know. Um, hopefully that haul is up before this, but, um, I have my Play-Doh's haul that's uploading right now, and then I already filmed my Ulta haul. I still have to film my Bath & Body Works haul, and then I'm filming this right now, so I don't know what order these are gonna go up in. And I have a runway haul to do, so, <laughs> I don't know what order these are going up in, so if I didn't do my Ulta haul yet, I got this recently, and I am so excited about it. Oh my god, just look at it. I know you guys have seen it a million and five times, but I don't care. Look at it again. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. This color Vermeer, oh my god. Like, I would buy this palette again just for this color when I run out of it. Oh! Oh my god, I don't, like, oh. It's so pretty, I just want to stare at it, but I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, make this video 20 minutes long because I'm staring at this eyeshadow palette. And I actually don't really like this brush that much. I think it's kind of scratchy. Like, I would rather use my Ace VB brushes. Literally, hashtag not sponsored at all. It's just these, like, bristles, like, aren't really that, like, soft on my eyeball. I'm like, eh, no. Anyway, this palette, I really love this. Like, love it. I literally will never probably use either of these two pink colors. I actually did use this um, one on the bottom, but this one, I will never use this. This is a straight-up pink, but it's, like, the palette is still so nice you like get over that like one or two shades you'll never need to use because I looked at this and I was like wow I know I'm never going to use like three of those colors but the other colors are just such good quality and they're so beautiful it like doesn't matter like oh my god <sighs> love this 10 out of 10 recommend love it never tried Anastasia eyeshadows until this though and I was really happy really impressed good job Anastasia Anastasia I never know which one to say okay those are all of my eyeshadow palettes i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it was so long but i kind of had a lot to go through but i really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you have any other videos in this little mini makeup collection series you want me to do leave them down below and i will be so happy to do them and i love you all so much leave any other requests you have down below because all your comments get sent to my phone oh look here's one okay that's mean all right i love you guys just kidding Okay, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe because it makes my heart really happy and um, I need more friends. So, yeah, okay. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>